greetings everyone manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 21st december 2022 starting with the supreme court the supreme court has directed the central government and iits to follow the reservation policy for admission in research degree programs and recruitment of faculty members as provided under the central educational institutions reservation in teachers cadre act 2019 News highlights from the high courts, starting with the Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has recently held that provisions of National Investigation Act do not prohibit investigation of scheduled offences under UAPA by local investigating agencies and can be probed by investigating agencies of state government. The High Court has held that where statutory remedy is created by law. The writ petition should not be entertained ignoring the statutory dispensation unless it is inefficacious. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Bombay High Court while quashing an FIR lodged against a man who had hacked Facebook page of MLA Ravi Rana has held that social media has become a powerful medium for exchange of views expressing opinions and thus has become an important pillar of democracy but only so long as it is not misused the delhi high court while hearing a plea alleging that lok nayak hospital was providing facility of free mri test only to the residents of delhi has observed that government hospitals have to treat all the citizens irrespective of their place of residence the kerala high court has directed all government medical colleges to act in terms of government order dated 6th december 2022 which has substantially relaxed timings of government medical college hostels with immediate effect the madras high court has directed state to pay rupees 1 lakh compensation to family of 74 year old man who has not been found since being taken to government hospital in june 2020 for covid-19 treatment and directed police to take effective step to find his whereabouts the calcutta high court has held that the objective of section 60 sub clause 2 of insolvency and bankruptcy code 2016 is to group together cirp of corporate debtor and insolvency liquidation proceedings of corporate or personal guarantor of the same corporate debtor before a single forum that is the national company law tribunal this concludes the news for today thank you so much